Vloggers, my name is Natalia and last week you all decided for some more Valentine's DIY. So today I'm going to show you how to create these special kinds of gifts for that special someone. The first one is a cool way to display your travel goals. The second one is a Celtic heart knot, which is a symbol of infinity and love. And the third one is a fingerprint token. Write the date of when you got married or you can just make it as a family thing. Now you decide what I should create next week by voting in the card above and let's begin. Here's what you need to create these gifts. Take your frame and remove the back piece. We also need to remove these clips or frame holders, but first remove your glass so it doesn't shatter and use a plier to remove them. Put some glue inside the corners of the frame and put the glass back into it and press down gently to make it stick. Take the back piece of the A-line paper, place your frame right on top and sketch around it. And then cut it out. Place the new back piece on some decorative paper and sketch around it. I changed my mind before cutting the paper out, so I'm using this paper instead and gluing it directly onto the back piece. We need to create an opening for the money to go in but I don't want to ruin the frame, so we're going to do it on the back piece instead. Find the middle on the long side and make a mark. From this marking, measure downwards 1 cm. Place this line at the 2 cm mark on your ruler, then make another line that's 4 cm. Close up this rectangle by making 1 cm lines in the ends. Cut out this opening. If you'd like, you can decorate the glass of your frame well, that's totally up to you. We need to attach the back piece onto the frame and I'm using some sticky tack instead of glue because I want to get back into the money. So place four small balls of sticky tack in each corner and make a sticky tack sausage for the bottom of the frame so the money doesn't fall out. So place the back piece onto the sticky tacky and press down properly to make it stick. Now your money is completely secured. Plan your next adventure and give it away. To make this Celtic heart knot, you need a piece of string that's 20 centimeters. Hold it so one end is longer than the other because this end will do all the work. Now make a little loop like this. Then feed the same end of the string underneath the loop and pull, but not too much. Feed it through the loop again and then underneath this string here and pull gently. You need to feed the string up and down and up again through three of the holes. And now you can pull on each end of the string to get the heart shape. One heart is facing the right way, the other one is upside down. Continue pulling and adjusting until you end up with a tiny Celtic heart knot. You can even make this heart knot with two strings, you just need to repeat the same process using two strings instead of one. You can take your Celtic heart knot and tie it onto some keys, cut off any excess string before wrapping it up. Cover your table with some plastic to protect it, then take a clay and roll it out and you can use whatever you want to roll it up like a glass. And roll it out until it's half a centimeter thick. Then take your cookie cutters and cut out some heart shaped pieces of clay. Let them dry completely before moving on to the next step, which is to paint them. Choose the color paint you'd like and paint them, then leave them to dry before adding your fingerprint. Choose another color for your fingerprint, then choose a finger and then just put it into the paint. Just dab the excess off so don't just smear paint on your hearts. Then make a fingerprint and leave it to dry. You can even write on them like the day you met or got married. And if you have children, you can make a family token together. Now choose your gift and wrap them up before giving it away for Valentine's. Now for the random question of the day, what can trigger you to get all nostalgic? My nostalgia can get triggered by sense, taste 
or melodies and they can just take me years back into my childhood and bring back a memory I didn't even know I had. And then I can just daydream about a time where everything was just so much simpler. Now I hope you enjoy watching, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell button below so don't miss out on any future videos. And if you're looking for more Valentine's DIYs, check out these videos here and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!